Dreams has finally come to PlayStation Plus. If you're one of the new 50 million players joining in on the fun, you'll be excused for not knowing exactly where to start. We'll be getting to our list of Epic Games in just a sec, but first things first, we want to clear up some major confusion that a lot of people have had about Dreams live service support ending in September. This does not mean that Dream servers are shutting down. PlayStation has not just given you a game for free that's going to be unplayable in two months. It just means the developers Media Molecule are starting work on a brand new game. After September, you will still be able to create and play in Dreams for many, many years to come. Make sure to stick around until the end of the video where we'll be sharing where you can find even more of the best games from Dreams for yourself and delivering some quick tips on how to get started in Dreams to make your life just a little bit easier. But first, epic list of games. We're starting off hot with Trips Voyage. This colorful platformer began life as a Nintendo Mario clone, but has become so much more following two epic years of updates from its creator. I could gush about Trip all day long. Between the animations, the music, the boss fights, and the impressive four hours of content on offer, Trip is a game that could easily stand on its own two feet outside of Dreams, and it's no surprise its creator has been snapped up by Blue Moon Studios to start their professional games dev career. If you're lost and looking for somewhere to start in Dreams community creations, start with Trip's Voyage. It's the pinnacle of polish in Dreams and sets the right tone, proving creations in Dreams can be high quality, fun, and more than worth your time. Liminal styles itself as a psychological horror game, and as creepy games go, it's one of the best Dreams has to offer. So intense, in fact, Sony PlayStation's legal team had a few things to say about it. Liminal features first-person shooter combat and resource management and is inspired by PlayStation classic Silent Hill. Dreams is not just a platform for colourful platformers, it's also home to piss your pants horror and every other game genre under the sun. Frontier is an open world racing game with an absolutely massive environment that ranges from sandy deserts to icy mountains and even dense cities. It features race events, time trials, and collectibles, and is somehow all inexplicably squeezed into a single scene. Its tight controls means it's no slouch as a racing game, but its inclusion on this list is all about dispelling the very silly notion that all Dreams games are all teeny tiny. Feeding Ducks 2 is not what it first appears. Beneath the surface of this Minecraft-styled resource collector where you mine crystals, in order to keep your pet duck fed is a sinister undertone of cerebral Lovecraftian-like horror that is just quacking to be explored. Feeding Ducks 2 came out only a few days ago and is a fantastic reminder that Dream's very best games are still to come. Its steady output of quality creations hasn't wavered once in the four years I've known it, and I don't expect that to change anytime soon now that Dreams is available for everyone on PlayStation to play for free. World on Fire 2 is the epic sequel to Dreams PS4's standout Call of Duty Zombies inspired first person shooter. World on Fire 2 sets itself apart from its contemporaries with an extra level of polish and great map design in the dozen or so locations on offer. We're talking about a fully featured Call of Duty Zombies game with different game modes to keep things fresh and tight gunplay being one of the best first person shooter games in all of Dreams. Fan games have a long history of giving Dreams a bad name, but World on Fire 2 is a beautiful example of the value they bring to the platform. Slice is a challenging action platformer with 25 levels to carve your way through with your katana. Its twitchy platforming gameplay is paired with an epic soundtrack and a distinct art style including some gorgeous hand-painted cutscenes, which all come together to make this one of Dream's slickest and most professional packages. Slice is exactly the sort of game you'd imagine if I told you there was a new, free platform for legendary indie games, and that's exactly what Dreams is. 
Lock is widely known as one of Dream's best games, a fiendishly clever first-person puzzle game that will have you uncovering the truth about the mysterious island it takes place on. The game encourages you not only to take real-life notes, but also use the internet to solve its enigmatic challenges, and will most likely take you several hours to complete. Lock is a head-pounding reminder of the complexities of gameplay on offer within Dreams for those who seek it. Cyber Trigger is a 2D pixel art sci-fi metroidvania-like adventure. You'll explore its massive map, blasting away enemies and duking it out with bosses as you upgrade your character. Cyber Trigger is just one of the many retro-inspired creations its creator Paolo has crafted, with more still to come and a great reminder that Dreams features all sorts of art styles and graphics you might not have realised. The Backrooms is an episodic horror game based on the infamous internet creepypasta that has taken Dreams by storm. You play as a team of researchers investigating the Backrooms phenomenon, a seemingly endless maze of benign hallways and buildings holding all manner of untold horror. The backroom crafts a wonderfully tense atmosphere, as you never know what's around the next corner. Just like with Dreams, which often finds itself presenting games and creations based on the latest thing to go viral. Happy Jack is another one of Dreams' most complete and polished games. Happy Jack is an unusual blend of Rayman, Zelda and even Dark Souls, mixing puzzles, platforming and an awesome combat system that manages to be both eye-twitchingly difficult but also insanely addictive. You might be surprised to know Happy Jack is one of Dream's oldest games, a perfect example of the sort of quality you can expect from any dreamer that has been diligently updating and perfecting their games since 2019. The Golden Age of Madness is a wonderfully weird and creepy first-person shooter with a killer style that pairs fantastically with its gory graphic gore system. The creator, Wargabor, spent years developing their personal, otherworldly signature aesthetic and shows Dreams is home to all sorts of personal, artistic creations. Ascent Remastered is a stylish action-adventure game which gives off some serious Ico vibes as you explore castles, solve puzzles, and give some shadow monsters a good bashing in its hour-long campaign. Ascent Remastered is a ground-up remake of an old creation from 2019, now benefiting from the creator's two extra years of experience, really showing off the value these veteran dreams creators bring to the table. Gaia Hawk is a sci-fi arcade shoot'em up where you'll need to switch between two different firing modes in order to master the five different stages and their bosses. This is a challenging bullet hell game, but the tight controls and gorgeous presentation make it an absolute joy to play. We've featured it to show not only does Dreams have games from every genre out there, but it even has some arcade classics if you're in the mood. If you've been listening carefully, you'll already know this list, while indeed epic, is not a definitive list of the best games from Dreams. Far bloody from it. While each game on the list is one of my personal favourites, when we're talking about the best games in Dreams, we could literally be here all day. I haven't talked about Super Football Game, Red, Corrupt Momentum, Lake Juniper, Seriously, I'm going to stop naming games now because the list could go on and on and on. And by the way, all we've covered here is games. Dreams is also a wonderful platform to share art, music and animations. If you still want more of the best games and creations, hang on tight until the end of the video where we're going to signpost you to some useful links and additional videos. But first things first, we promise new dreamers some quick tips in getting to grips with Dreams for when you first get started. When you first boot up Dreams, you'll need to complete the game's opening before you can dive into community creations. This will take around 10 minutes and is useful for teaching you the game's motion controls. There is a non-motion version of the controls the game will suggest you can switch to, but trust us, unless you are completely motion-phobic, it is the quickest way to navigate Dreams, 
even if it does feel a little strange at first. If you find your cursor getting away from you, remember you can hold the options button to recenter. There are two halves to dreams, playing and creating. Dream surfing is for playing and dream shaping is for creating. Head into dream surfing and the top banner will probably be recommending one of the four media molecule design campaigns. Arts Dreams, Ancient Dangers, A Bat's Tale, A Long Climb Ago, or the newest and longest and shiniest, Tren. If you want to find all of the creations Media Molecule has made for Dreams, scroll down on this page until you find the row labeled Dreams by Media Molecule. In addition to the four Dreams campaigns, this row will also feature the various community events and mini games Media Molecule has made over the last four years. The front page of Dream Surfing will be filled with rows of creations, all trying to attract your interest. Trending Now will show newer dreams that are earning some attention, while Recommended For You is a personal Netflix-like list that the game will try to fill with creations you like, based on your play history. There will be some self-explanatory rows, like Recently Played, but the rest of them will be themed collections of dreams, organised by Media Molecule's curation team, and updated and refreshed frequently. If you want to go looking for dreams for yourself, you can use the search bar, but if you're having a mooch, you'll find it easier to scroll down to this section on the menus. MMPix are all the creations Media Molecule have given their stamp of approval. While that's a good list if you're looking for quality creations, they have their tastes just like everybody else, and certain dreams they're not allowed to promote. Dreams by Genre is a much wider range of awesome dreams broken up into categories and further subcategories like horror and psychological horror. Finally, you have Forever Popular, which is a list of dreams organised by thumbs up, plays and various timescales. I use this list the most to keep a closer eye on the most popular new dreams, it's how we make our top 10 dreams videos. It's really important to note most thumbed up dreams of all time, both in this menu and when you manually search, is a little deceptive. Since dreams had incredibly high user activity when it first launched, older and usually less polished creations are often much higher ranked in these lists. While there are still some cool things to find there, they don't represent the best dreams has to offer. The Dreams Shaping homepage is a little more self-explanatory, but you'll need to do some more tutorials before you can dive into creating. There are different types of creations, which I found very confusing when I first started creating in Dreams. If we go into a blank creation and try to save, we'll be asked if we want our creation to be an element or a scene. And then of course, there's an option to make Dreams. It's easiest explained if you think about it in terms of game making. Elements are individual pieces of a game, like rocks or trees. You use these elements to make a game level, or scene as it's called in Dreams. Finally, you take your collection of scenes and string them together to make a game, or as we call them, you guessed it, a dream. In Dream Shaping, you'll find tutorials and templates to start learning the Dreams tools. The best advice I can give you is to take things slow. There is a lot to learn. Dreams is, after all, a full game engine where you can sculpt, animate, create logic, music, and a ton of other stuff. It takes time to learn, and if you're not careful, you'll quickly find yourself overwhelmed. Remember, creating isn't for everyone, and contrary to what some might think, Dreams is very much for people that only want to enjoy creations rather than make their own. Creators have been desperate to get more players on Dreams for years. If you play something you like, be generous with your thumbs up, and remember to leave creators a quick review, it's the best way to thank them for their efforts. On behalf of the entire Dreams community, massive welcome to all the new users joining from PlayStation Plus, we're very glad to have you. We are of the Sofa Gaming and we've been covering Dreams for four years and are in fact an award-winning Dreams channel. If you want to stay up to date on the latest and greatest games and creations from Dreams PS4, 
Remember to subscribe and why not give this video a like while you're down there. If you are brand new to Dreams, we want to hear from you in the comments. Let us know which of the games from earlier you can't wait to check out and if you plan to make anything in Dreams. We're going to leave you with a useful couple of playlists you should be seeing on screen now. To the left is Top 10 Dreams where we regularly show off the best recent games from Dreams. And finally to the right is a collection of videos new dreamers might find very useful.